April is National Donate Life Month. It's a time focused on highlighting the challenges of organ donation and encouraging Americans to register as organ, eye, and tissue donors. Yeah, 107,000. That's how many people right now are in need of a life-saving transplant. And today we're meeting one of those folks. Take a look at his story. At 46 years old, Lionel Dalton seemingly had it all. The former NFL defensive tackle is a Super Bowl champion, taking home a ring for the Baltimore Ravens win in 2001. He's also a husband to his wife Tiffany of eight years and a doting father of four. But last year, things changed. Lionel started feeling sick, and after a trip to the hospital, he discovered he had stage four kidney failure and in need of a life-saving transplant. It's been more than a year since that diagnosis, and Lionel's still waiting for a donor, spending five hours a day, three times a week, on dialysis. An athlete once fighting on the field, now fighting for his life. Lionel Dalton joins us now. I want to bring him in. Thank you for being here. You haven't really talked about this publicly, Lionel. Just, uh, I guess we have to start first. Just what's today? I know every day has to be difficult in some way, form, or fashion, but just how are you doing today? Um, I'm doing great today. Thanks for having me. Um, I take it day by day. Um, today is, um, I'm in beautiful Florida, so I feel pretty good right now. <laughs> That's one way to look at it. I love that. Now, we saw a little bit of your story, Lionel, but can you walk us through how you first found out about your diagnosis and what your symptoms were? Well, we were having a New Year's party in 2020 at my house, and um, that night I started to feel shortness of breath in my chest. I had a lot of tightness in my chest, so I went to the local fire station. Mm -hmm. I then checked in at the uh, local hospital, Piedmont Hospital in Atlanta, Georgia, and within hours the doctor told me my kidneys were functioning at 17 percent and I need to get on dialysis immediately. And originally I was in shock. I didn't, I knew nothing about kidney failure. Uh, I, I called my wife to get my um, affairs in order because I, in my mind, I'm about to die any minute now. But um, through education and um, research, I found that um, some people are living pretty healthy lives with kidney failure. And Lionel, uh, obviously you are still waiting for a donor. What message do you want out there? I know you've teamed up with the Living Legacy Foundation. What do you want people to know? I, what I'm trying to do is remove the stigma and fear of um, organ donation. A lot of people are scared, especially my family's been really scared about donating because they think, you know, something can happen to them if they donate a kidney. So I'm trying to bring awareness to donation and understand that there's a lot of people out here who are suffering from this disease that can really use, um, use you know, a kidney or an organ. Like one person can save up to eight lives. And what's better than leaving a legacy of life, you know, giving a father more time with his children, a grandmother more time with her grandchildren. Um, just the importance of organ donor and, um, you know, helping others. You know, Lionel, can we ask you, do you know where you are on the, I guess, that list? Do you, do you know, have they told you that any possibilities? And maybe you have friends or family who are trying to see if they're a match as well. What, I guess, what's the update there? Right now, I am an old negative blood type, so my my wait time is five to eight years. But I have a few living donors in the pipeline. I had one, but she was a little overweight, so she's trying to lose weight now because they're really particular about who they let donate kidneys. I have one lady right now who's a potential match. And so I'm excited about this, and uh, we'll see what happens. Well, please keep us updated. We are thinking of you. We are sending you love and prayers. Lionel Dalton, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. And obviously, your message hopefully is going to encourage people to donate because it does save lives and multiple lives, like you pointed out. So thank you, Lionel. Okay, thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.